Hey, what's up everyone and uh, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to a computer inside your home from anywhere out in the internet. And uh, we are going to achieve this using dynamic DNS. So let's get started. All right, so here we are. Uh, this is noip.com. Uh, the first thing that, when you arrive here, the first thing that you want to do, you want to create a host name and sign up. I'm going to create mine. I'm going to call it Home PC One, and um, the second part of the domain is going to be hub2.org. If you click on this drop-down menu here, and they have a list that you can choose from. And let's go ahead and click Sign Up. Now this is going to take you to a registration form. Go ahead and enter your email address, password, and click on Free Sign Up. I have already signed up for it, so I'm going to log in and uh, we continue from there. All right, after you log in, you will arrive here at the dashboard. Uh, what we want to do next, we want to go into account and we want to create a username. So click on change username, enter a username, and click save. Once you do that, we want to download the client. So let's go to No IP. That'll take you to the main page. And now let's go to Downloads and click on Download. Make sure you download the client for your specific operating system. All right, so once you download the client, go over to the File Explorer and then click on Downloads and double click on DUC Setup. Select Agree, Install. Make sure that you have selected Run DUC as a system service, as it needs to run in the background because it's, it will constantly be sending updates to the DNS, uh, the DNS server. Click Finish. Now enter your credential, the username that you created in the previous step, along with the password. Next, select the host that you created, click Save, and here you have uh, the details uh, of the information that you'll be sending to the Dynamic DNS server. This is your IP address. If you need to edit the host, you can click here. Okay, so finally, let's go ahead and do a refresh now. And what this is going to do is going to send an update. We, we force the client to send an update to the DNS server. So let's go back into the, um, into the DNS server dashboard and uh, let's refresh the page. And now if we look at it, the last update was done July 27 and 9.35, which is the, the current time. All right, so here we are. Um, we are about to install DD client uh, in Ubuntu. So I'm going to start the terminal. So I'm going to do sudo apt install dd client and I'm going to press enter into my password and uh, the first time you install this client it'll uh, open this uh, configuration wizard. Uh, the first screen we need to select our DNS service provider. Uh, in this video we're using noip.com which is not listed here so I'm going to use the down arrow key, select order, and the tab to select OK, press enter. Uh, the second uh, screen, it'll ask you for the dynamic DNS server. In this case, I'm going to enter dyn uh, update dot no IP dot com. Tab and press OK. Uh, the, thir the third screen is to select the uh, dynamic DNS protocol. I'm going to leave it as a default. OK, and continue. The fourth screen, uh, you enter your username, the one that you use uh, when you register for uh, uh, Dynamic DNS service. I'm going to enter mine. Press OK. And now enter your password and re enter password. 
we're going to update this uh, this setting later. So I'm going to skip it for now. Press OK. Uh, next is the fully qualified domain name that you register with noip.com. So mine uh, it is homepc one dot sap two dot org. Press OK. And that's about the setup. All right. So uh, next, let's use bi to open it's uh, ddclient.conf press enter and um, to scroll down press the uh, the J key that will take you down and uh, in this section here we're going to say use actually uh, press, the le press the letter I to go into insert mode and type use equals web now press escape key to go back into uh, normal mode, column WQ to save. If you want to see the, the, the changes that you made, do it see the decline in that conf. And of course, okay. And next, uh, we need to edit another file. Uh, this one. It is the etc default DD client. Press enter. And here we need to set uh, two different settings. Again, J to scroll down. The first setting that we need to change is the uh, run dh client equals to true. If you type the X letter, it'll delete one character at a time. Press the I key to insert. And then true escape to go back into normal mode j to scroll down and uh, we also need to delete rune demon and set it to true okay so we need to set we need to send uh we need to set dd client to run as a uh, demon in the background after that escape column wq Next, let's do sudo uh, system ctl restart the decline. Next, let's go ahead and configure the router so we can set up uh, port forwarding in order to receive connection. All right, so here we are. Um, I'm going to use a Linksys router for this example. It's a very common uh, wireless router. Uh, but this process is pretty standard regardless of the router that you use. Once you log in into your router interface, um, you need to go into application and gaming and then go into port forward. On the port forwarding, we need to create a setting. Um, here where it says application, I'm going to assume that I have a, uh, an open SSH server uh, running on the network. So I'm going to call it SSH. Uh, the start port for um, the SSH server is port 22, end port is 22. And uh, for the protocol, I'm going to select TCP. And here, I need to select the IP address of the uh, system running uh, for the computer running OpenSSH. If you need to get that information, uh, just go to your um, Linux server or uh, your uh, Windows machine, but in this case, the Linux server, uh, Linux computer. I'm going to do IPA. So for the IP address, I'm going to enter 192.168.1.10. And finally, I'm going to enable that setting and click Save. Now uh, that's about it for this video. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Give it a like, leave a comment, and click on the notification icon. See you in the next video.